And today we are joined by the incomparable hometown diva, Christina Wells. Christina is starring in Chicago on stage at Theater Under the Stars from January 31st to February 12th. Christina, how's it going today? That, that production got me in my feeling. <laughs> Good. You are. You. Everybody loves Christina Wells. This is not your first time in Outsmart Magazine. You are kind of traveling the country right now, but you're coming back to Houston soon. How does it feel to be heading back to Houston and more specifically back to Theater Under the Stars? Yeah, I'm so excited to be returning to Tuts. Like my social media, I just keep writing that. I'm like, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Because, um, you know, the last time I was there was during The Little Mermaid and Ursula and it was the most amazing experience. And when it got cut short because of COVID, I always say that COVID stole my sea witch. Um, I just, I, I was counting the minutes to get to come back. And so when I got the tour opportunity, I was excited, but I'm like, but, 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 and then I saw that we were a part of the Tuts season and I was just like, Jesus, I see you in my life. I see you in my life every single time. So yeah, I can't wait to come back. Kind of flashing forward today, you're touring nationally with Chicago, which is huge. And even people who don't know musical theater know Chicago, right? Yeah. And so just bring us up into your world a little bit is this your first national tour oh yes and Last how's it going it, how's it it's been a, well it's amazing after I did Ursula I was like I want to I want to be on Broadway like I just mm -hmm. was like I called my agent I'm like I want to be on Broadway I want to do this and she was like well you need to get seen and one of the ways to be seen is doing a tour and you need to start auditioning for people who cast Broadway they cast tours so I started auditioning for tours and this open door opened up and so here I am I've been from Florida to Maine we've been everywhere and I love it like I'm playing an iconic role matron mama Morton and when people are like who I'm like Queen Latifah they're like oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well and that that leads perfectly into my next question can you tell us a little bit about matron mama Morton because I think a lot of people like you just said think of Queen Latifah from the movie because it's so yeah. accessible right but tell us about her in your own words well, the thing with Chicago that I don't think everybody fully gets is that, you know, the concept is that these very popular women are using the press in order to get themselves off for murder. So when you think of the story in that context, I am the warden of the jail, the prison that they're in, the Cook County Correctional Facility. And so there really was a female warden who ran the jail in the 20s, 1920s. This, these stories are plucked from the real headlines of the 20s and the Chicago Tribune. The woman who wrote this play was a playwright who happened to have a job at the time as a journalist for the Tribune. And so she saw all these stories come across and then she goes back to being a playwright and ends up capturing all this into the play. And that's how the play Chicago, which later turned into the musical exists. And mm. so as this matron, Mama Morton, this warden, this woman who's in charge of all these really dangerous characters, she figured out a way to make sure that she was taken care of and everyone <laughs> else was taken care of. Uh, she calls it reciprocity so I sing this big song that literally says you take care of me and I'll take care of you and that's how mama makes sure that all the ladies of the Cook County Correctional Facility are taken care of but that way she's taken care of too. The Broadway revival is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year yes. and it originally premiered in 1975 as a musical and how are you making this character different or are you making this character different kind of what is it like stepping into this legacy of this role? Well, I think whenever you do anything that's considered a cover, like mm. whenever you sing someone else's song or you play a character that people really know, like I think you need to know the roots, you need to know the seeds of where it came from because you need to give homage to that. Mm. But then I think that once you learn about that, you then need to let it live, live in your own body and let it be you. Because nobody wants to see an impersonation of somebody else like unless we're doing impersonations that's not that's not what people want to see they want to see your take so I feel like I mean I'm not really cast in something that's crazy I'm a mama you know I am a mama <laughs> and I do have a big personality and I'm a, I feel I'm a savvy businesswoman and so I try to bring that reality to mama the other thing I think a lot of people think of is that mama is mean because you know she's like you know gotta cut 
And so my mama isn't quite as mean, I think, as other people perceive mama to be. My mama, people will say it to me. They're like, your mama's warm. She is warm. You can love and not put up with any bull, mm. right? Like <laughs> you can love and you can be like, like, cause that's who I am as a mother. I'm gonna love you. Hey baby, how you doing? Uh-huh. You need something? Don't you talk to me like that again? Like both of those can exist inside the same person. And so uh, also with the song, I... I was really, I really feel blessed because the song sits in a good place in my voice and I'm able to just sing it. I don't feel like I'm having to like put on an affectation or do something different. And, you know, I like to sing big. I like to sing loud. (laughs) (laughs) And so those are kind of like your favorite moments of being able to be on stage. Aside from the moments that you're on stage, what would you say your personal favorite part of the musical is? Whenever... The be- so so the show starts with like the overture you know like for the before the music starts whatever so the music is playing and rah, 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 and all that stuff is great but then when they hear that ba 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 and Logan Floyd versus our Velma Kelly they walk up the steps and you hear the mm. audience go crazy every night no matter what I'm doing I'll be like I stop and I listen and I'm just like yes because uh. I love that feeling both for the audience and for our cast because there's something magical about knowing that you're satisfying people and this thing they want to hear, this thing they love. Like people know the phrase, all that jazz. They know the song, all that jazz. Like it's not something that's far away, like with other musicals. They're like only certain people know about it or it can be niche. Like you said, this is so well known. It's world renowned. For those that don't know, you did kind of start your career out as a registered nurse, but then you did end up going on to America's Got Talent and getting a lot of notoriety for that, which was amazing. And I got to interview you back in the day and we chatted a little bit about that, which was cool. Um, But did you ever imagine thinking about when you were pursuing becoming a registered nurse in those early days, did you ever think that you would be in touring the country on stage doing what you're doing right now? You know, what a good question. You know what? Thank you for asking me that because that's such a gratitude moment. Mm. Uh, No. No, not at all. I gave up, I gave up singing when I was like 19, 20. And I was like, I ended up <clears throat> having my kids. I'm like, I got to get a career. And I went to nursing school and, and there it is, you know, mm-hmm. do my job and raise my babies and go to school and go to and make money. And, and that's what I did. And so no, never when I was wiping butts and taking, giving people <laughs> pills, was I like, you know, someday I'm going to be touring with a national <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair <laughs> but it is like you said it is kind of a gratifying moment to oh. see kind of where you're at now and just the, kind of not to knock that time in your life obviously because it's such a gratifying job like you said and it's is so important but that you're able to do both and that life doesn't stop just because you chose a career at one point you know what I mean right. you can always pivot and do something new and I think that's a really good example that you set for a lot of people including our viewers here Um, My last question is kind of an easy one, but also I'm interested to hear it in your own words. In your own words, what, why should people who maybe don't have a ticket yet, why do you think that they should come see this production of Chicago? I think you should come and see this production of Chicago because I'm in it. Hey, no, but um, honestly, I think the reason you should come and see this production of Chicago is because everyone in this cast is really talented. The dancing the sleekness of the choreography. If you love Fosse and you're like, but is it, re-? it's real, baby. It's mm. real. The bodies are out there. The click, 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 little finger movement. Like it's going to give that sass and that secret that, um, that you want when you see Chicago. And um, also, you know, let's support theater under the stars because for me personally, the theater in our community, it just, it keeps things alive. It keeps things exciting. Come and cheer on your hometown girl, Christina. <laughs> See a great show and support Tuts. Like boom, boom, boom. Three reasons. I couldn't have said it better myself. You're amazing. The show is going to be amazing. I can't wait to come see it. And thank you so much. And everybody watching this, be sure to go to tuts.com and get your tickets to see Chicago at Theater Under the Stars. You definitely will not want to miss it. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you.